man, look at this thing right here. This thing is a Buick. I'm going to say. It's got a Wildcat 445 in it, so I'm going to say 1967. I don't believe it's a Wildcat, but it is a Wildcat. So, all right, are you, you missing it? Oh, okay. Let me show you. Sixty-seven Wildcat convertible. Another one with the pristine interior. Aftermarket radio, but it's been made one of those retro radios, made to look the piece. Just try first, man, because you know, a lot of times that's a beautiful tail, man. But it's it must come out. It's another excellent paint job. Like a black cherry setup. Uh, it has the inboard facing wipers that General Motors use at this time. It's got a lot of styling cues that are similar to the Buick Riviera, you know, with that apex grill and the outboard grounded headlamps. Put another put a capacitor in here and the battery shut off. I don't like top post terminals for these cars. As you can tell, see? Single pot, single circuit brakes with a power brake booster. I would have I wouldn't have used that. I don't I don't care 1965. See, I didn't know that 65 would have been this aggressive with General Motors styling. But of course, General Motors was killing them. They were killing them in the 60s with their styling. I definitely would have I would have upgraded those brakes. I'm not going anywhere on a single circuit brake reservoir.